When we created the PineCut machine, we had a strong focus on user friendliness. The Wartiot process has the capability of cutting virtually any material to decide cut quality just by selecting an appropriate cutting speed. From this, we saw an opportunity to make a high precision machine that can produce fine mechanic parts in virtually any material without requiring a deep knowledge of neither the Wartiot process nor CNC programming. The human machine interface design uses the same sign language that we know from consumer electronics, which is easy to learn and remember. The user interface lets you simply download your part geometry directly to the desired location on the work table, then press play to start your program. Cutting speeds along the paths are automatically optimized from databases used. This will give you an accurate part geometry. This machine is designed for making precision easier. Janne will now demonstrate how easily we cut the part with the FunCut system. Yep. When we get a request for cutting a part, we start with a drawing or DXF file. We use a CAD CAM software called iGEMS for programming the part. When the part is programmed, the CNC file is uploaded to the machine and we can start cutting. I will now demonstrate how to prepare the CNC file. Start to upload the DXF file and choose the material and thickness. Here we use stainless steel, one millimeter thick, and, uh, and the FAW300 system. Then you create a part and here you can also select what quality you want for each cutting line. Then select where to place lead in and lead out. And select cutting order. Here we only have one part so we select the part we want to cut and produce the CNC file. Now the file is ready and can be placed on a USB or be saved on a server which can be connected with a FineCut machine. The CNC file is stored in a folder which can be accessed from the FineCut HMI. When the CNC file is uploaded, the geometry will be visible on the HMI screen and the cutting can start by pressing the green start button. It just takes a few minutes to go from a DXF file to get a ready sample in your hand. An important part of the versatility of the fine cut process is the ability to adopt the cutting system for different, different applications. This picture indicates the variety of parts that can be produced with the fine cut system. Our finest nozzle, the 200 micron fine abrasive water jet can cut minute parts with delicate features down to 0.1 millimeter radii. By changing to a more powerful nozzle combination, we can also cut parts like the 40 millimeter titanium. The cutting head contains a nozzle assembly, including a focusing tube and a water orifice. Both are consumable items. The water orifice converts the pressure energy to a supersonic water jet. Larger orifice diameters create higher cutting power. There is a wide range of orifice diameters and focusing tube sizes to choose from. When selecting an appropriate nozzle combination for, a cut, for cutting a part, we need to check for some per, special parameters. Make sure that the jet can fit the smallest radius on the part and can pass the narrowest passages. We also want to make sure that the jet cut material on both sides, so it will be in balance. Depending on the material thickness and the cutting speeds, there is a wide range of orifice diameters and focusing tube sizes to choose from, as we can see here. 
When selecting an appropriate nozzle combination for cutting apart, we need to check for some parameters. Make sure that the jet can fit the smallest radius on the part and that it can pass through the narrowest passages. We also want to make sure that the jet cuts material on both sides, it will be in balance. Depending on the material thickness and the cutting speeds we want, we can choose to use nozzle combinations that produce high power jets. The 500 by 500 millimeter cutting table on the fine cut machine lends us the possibility to cut large parts up to 500 millimeter with precision and with powerful jets. Fitted with the smallest nozzle assembly, we can fit about 2,500 parts of the same geometry on the cutting table. Machine setup and cutting. The fine cut uses a fixture system that secures the part location relative to the tool path. With guide pins, the fixture can uh, be used and stored between different production runs, keeping the location of the cutting paths stored in the HMI. For larger parts, we can also use a wave grid. The wave grid has the very narrow slats, and the jet will flip over the slats, and that means that we can cut larger parts without having a part falling down into the uh, catcher tank. The option program. The fine part machine has a wide range of option program that can help to uh, improve your production capabilities. For example, just to mention a few, we have the high frequency spindle. The high frequency spindle helps to make start holes in sensitive materials like uh, carbon fiber reinforced plastic that may delaminate during the piercing. This uh, high frequency spindle features 60,000 RPM. It can not only be used for drilling, we can also use it for milling. We also have a, the Rennie Show touch probe that we can fit into the machine. With this touch probe, we can measure uh, the location of fixtures or the location of parts that we would like to make a complementary cutting. There's a wide range of different uh, options available for the fine cut machine, and we have a catalog where we, you can choose the options you like for improving your production capabilities.